Hi guys, just another post bag video for you. I've uh, got lots of items from AliExpress. It's pretty much the last of the 11-11 uh, sale stuff. Uh, get caught up with the Christmas post. Uh, there's lots to go through, as you can see. So uh, let's go take a look. Okay, so here's everything. Let's just get started. There's a lot to go through. As always, cut everything off screen because I am useless at the knife. Steven Seagal, I am not. First one. These are, yeah, these are uh, LED heat sinks. Um, so in a previous video, I got some three watt and one watt LEDs. Ideally, you need to use these with a heat sink. Um, so that's what I've got. Uh, I'll probably put a video uh, up there to the previous post bag. Go take a look at them. Uh, they are in black as well. You can get them in black and white. I um, always like things in black. Try and reduce the visible appearance of them. Okay, that's this one. Ah, these are 23A 12 volt batteries. Uh, these are to go with a high voltage serial programmer that I'm planning on building. Again, pop a video up there. Uh, you can see previous ones uh, of an issue that I've got. Uh, that I need a 80 tiny 85 reprogramming. So I'm going to build a shield. Uh, you need 12 volts to reset the fuses. Chunky on. Okay, whoops. Um, maybe we should have checked that. What have we got here? Got a card. We've got uh -huh, some capacitors, 22 picofarads, I believe, uh, for that's basically the timing for the oops, that's come out as well. Timing for the oscillators, which is these are 16. Uh, megahertz oscillators for Arduinos. You need the capacitors as well with them. So they are, and these, you can see them against the green. Our terminal blocks. Um, 5 mil or 5.08 mil. I've no, actually got a confirmation on if there's a difference, uh, but these seem to fit on breadboards, which is where you'd uh, terminate a power supplies. Uh, cable connectors, etc. Need those again for the high voltage serial programmer that I'm going to be building. Pop them in there. Next up, Ooh, something big. What have we got? Uh -huh. These are breadboard uh, U shaped wires. So these help when you're prototyping on a breadboard and it is sealed. So I think this all this camera focuses close, but instead of having jumper pins everywhere, these are U-shaped. So you can go into a breadboard and into another slot and keep everything nice and neat. Very handy. Uh, these are JST connectors for batteries. Um, going to be doing some lipo rechargeable stuff. I uh, just need some connectors to connect them to. Very handy. One for the parts drawer. And what are these black things? Oh, yes. Uh, these are ground isolated, isolated, yeah, ground isolated uh, power converters. Um, I'll put a link in the description as always below. Um, what they do is they isolate the ground on a power supply. These ones are 5 volt to 5 volt. You can get other ones which are like 12 volt to 5 or 5 to 3. There's various specs in them. But what would you want one of these for? Get it out. Uh, for me, I've got some Bluetooth audio speakers. And if you're building them from scratch and you're using the common... Chinese circuit Bluetooth receivers and a blue and a audio amplifier. 
and they're sharing the same power supply and the same ground, you're going to get interference when the speaker is paused or there's low noise, you're going to hear a static hum and hiss and buzz. Uh, one of the solutions is to isolate the ground on the Bluetooth module. Uh, so all this does is you've got a you got a V in and ground, and it basically goes to V out and V zero, but it isolates it. That's the idea. I'm going to give that a go. Very useful. See if they actually work. Next up. Aha. This is a Sonoff Wi Fi power switch. And this is for DIY home automation. Uh, when you want a smart home, uh, if you call it that, so you can um, use your phone and can turn power outlets on and off. You want to turn your lights on and off. Your toaster, your classic Internet of Things toaster, you want to turn that on and off. Coffee maker. Um, but what I plan to do with these is you, actually, you can actually um, use them as an Arduino because it's running the ESP8266 chip and you can program it and you can make it look like a Wemo. Uh, switch from Belkin uh, and then with that you can use Alexa and I've got an Alexa running in my house and you can basically tell Alexa to turn things on and off sorry I didn't understand the question I heard there she is <laughs> that's that so there's one of them I believe there is another one I think it's in this one yes Packaging box. Uh, here's another one. Uh, initially, I was going to buy one. Thought I've got two. Uh, at the start, I've got two lights that are quite awkward to switch on and off. Um, so I want to wire them up. And within uh, Alexa, she's responding. Within Alexa, you can group certain utilities together so I can turn them on and off individually or I can just tell her to turn them on and off as a group. So there's two, got them from two different suppliers, see which one is quickest. They actually came pretty much within a day of each other. Really quick, really quick post. Highly recommend them. And again, links will be down below. Uh, click on them and get some and have a fiddle. Um, a quick look at them. Different packaging, I don't think there's any difference with them. Get your mounting screws. These are the units. That's your terminals. You've got an in and an out. In, out. And then the insides. I just uh, cut one of these off camera. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did Santa have to cancel karaoke night? Too many Elvish impersonators. <laughs> so, taken off screen. That's the insides of a sewn off. It's essentially an ESP8266 chip uh, that manages and controls a relay. And it's powered from the mains with a mains of 3.3 volt adapter. Yeah, it's a very simple kit. It's got a lot of popularity. Yeah, really looking forward to playing with that. Okay, next. Ah, re something else. That is it. So, what have we got here? What's this? Aha! This is a matrix 4x4 uh, button panel. Various buttons connect to your Arduino project or your Raspberry Pi and you can do some user input and it works off a resistance ladder I believe. And it works out what buttons have been pressed based on the resistance of when you press a button. Very handy 
Again, I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for yet. There's a few projects out there I want to have a go with. And it was, it was pennies. It's really cheap. Uh, these tiny little things. What are they? Oh, yeah, these are 5 volt to 3.3 .3 volt regulators. And there's two of them. Just on the same circuit board. Uh, just one for the parts drawer. Regulates a 5 volt down to a 3.3. And if when you're using ESP8266, which are 3.3, .3, or any modules that need a 3.3 volt supply, and you've only got five, there's bits off them. Now that is breadboard. Simple. Running out of breadboards. Handy to have a breadboard. Nice and cheap. This is. Just can't see through that. What is this? Uh -huh. This is a USB AVR programmer. Plug this into your computer via the USB and you can program uh, AVR chips, uh, microcontrollers. Um, planning on using this to reprogram a LED shake stick. Um, I put the video up there. And you can see that we got the project working, but according to the internet, there's a, there's a source code out there. It's not an Arduino as such, um, so you got to program it. You basically upload the hex file to the chip, and you would need something like this to do that. So it's going to be a bit of investigation and having a bit of a play. I'm running out of board here. What is this? Yes, this is a prototype board. Uh, and breadboard, mini breadboard. Uh, so this goes tops on, puts on top of your Arduino Uno, um, just for prototyping. Got a couple of user input switches, an LED, jumpers, and you can stick this little prototype board on top and it just helps you quickly prototype things. Quite handy. Again, nothing specifically for. Uh, one in the part drawer and it just speeds up prototyping and it was pennies to buy. Really cheap. Very handy. Uh, what else have we got? It's thin. It's empty. Oop, there you go. What is this? Okay. This is a USB on the go adapter. Uh, you basically you plug this, open it, you would plug this into a USB, say this was your USB mouse or keyboard or something like that, not an AVR programmer. You plug it into the USB socket and it becomes a micro, a, sorry, a mini USB socket and works on USB on the go devices like an Arduino phone, tablet, uh, etc. Um, got one of these before. This was actually on the 11.11 sale. They had reduced them from 90p to 30p. So I thought it'd be really good just to get a few in. From my parts drawer, I'm going to make a few projects with them. But actually, on the 11.11 sale, you it was limited to one per customer, um, so it seemed a bit pointless to buy it for 30p. But I bought it anyhow. It took forever to get here, but there it is. Last item, really well wrapped. Uh -huh. I don't know what these are. This should be reels of LEDs too. Hopefully. Yes. There we go. Inside. Um, I've got white and I've got cold white. Uh, I've already got warm white. Um, I plan on these to make a LED panel. Um, following the tutorial from DIY Perks, he makes a flexible LED light panel 
and uses warm LEDs and cool LEDs to color balance the output. So I need a better uh, lighting system just to get more light in my videos. So that's what they are for. And that is the post bag. Uh, if you like what you saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see some more, don't forget to subscribe. Everything on the video will be in the comments below. Uh, in the description, sorry. And if you've got any questions, any queries, don't forget to leave a comment. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much. Make some room for the end stream.